What's going on guys, it's Caleb and today I have a Toyota RAV4 that is in 4A detail. As you saw by the intro clips, the thing is pretty dirty and as for the inside, it's pretty dirty too. But as for this video, we're only doing the exterior because once again, I have run out of daylight whenever it came to doing the interior and I couldn't record it. But do not worry, next week I have a Hyundai that is both inside and out completely done for you guys. I'm really trying hard here to get interior details done as well in the video. But this time of year, just like I said in my last video, it's really difficult because I end up running out of daylight and most customers usually get their car around 3 4 p.m or so and then it gets dark at like 6 30 and i really can't record whenever it's nighttime without complaining any further to you guys though we are using p and s brake buster in my hand pump foam sprayer attacking these wheels making sure they get nice and clean for the customer and before i turn you guys away to the video if you could real quick for me go ahead and press like go ahead and press subscribe and go ahead and ring that bell that way you know every single time i upload i upload weekly here or at least i try to upload weekly every friday but if i don't it's on that monday or following Tuesday. Thank you guys so much for all the growth and support. And I'm sounding like a radio caster right now. Like, I don't even know what I'm thinking. Okay, whatever. If you guys would please, if you like the video, go ahead and press like, subscribe. I'm done taking your time here. I've been having a crazy week. I've been all over the freaking place. Let's go ahead and enjoy this video together and have some downtime. The second cleaner touches these wheels, you can immediately see the foam start to turn brown and it just tells you that these wheels are screaming at you to be cleaned. We also took the time to take care of the wheel well liners. These wheel well liners are made of carpet and I can't stand that, but overall if you put some hard work into it and some elbow grease, they definitely turn out looking nice. The same goes for the wheels. I mean, the wheels you keep scrubbing down, you want to keep scrubbing it until that brown turns to white foam. And with these tires in particular, it took me about two or three trips around the entire thing to make sure that it was completely completely clean. If the intro clips didn't do justice for how much dirt, mud, and grit was on this exterior paint, go back about 30 seconds to a minute or so while I was doing the wheels and take a peep at the paint because this stuff is all over the place and it's a lot of it. Granted, it's not completely muddied up like Hudson Beach truck that I did a few months back. That was probably the most muddy I've ever seen a vehicle, but this one was pretty rough. Granted, there's been a lot of driving with this vehicle. I know for a fact after talking with the customer back and forth, it's had its fair share of driving in the last few days and we definitely need to give some attention to detail when it comes to doing Doing this pre-rinse so that way whenever we go to foam it down and brush all the nitty-gritty areas and go to a hand wash there's not all this leftover dirt particulate and mud and all that that can possibly scratch or mar the paint.
now that all the prep work for a hand wash is done, we're gonna move into exactly just that, a hand wash. I'm using Mr. Pink from Chemical Guys just because it's a really good, cheap, and pH neutral soap, as well as a wash mitt. And don't forget something as simple as a two bucket method. With this thing being all clean, it's time to dry it off. We are using my waffle leaf towel from the rag company, as you guys mostly see me use in every single one of my videos. Well, I want to speak a little bit on Chemical Guys' Mr. Pink, because I really don't care for Chemical Guys' products. I mean, it used to be a great company that really focused on their products until they went corporate, and then a lot of their stuff just started falling off, and they started mass producing multiple different kinds of things, and it just turned into a big mess. It's really what I'm afraid Adam's polishes will turn into. I really hope not, but that's, that's kind of what it looks like it's going to go to. Too. But overall, there's not many products in my opinion that work good for them. I mean, VRP works pretty good as like a tire dressing, but Chemical Guys, this Mr. Pink stuff is actually really good and it's cheap. It's pH neutral. It's really, it's like, it's such a good thing to use for lubrication. As if you guys have seen my recent videos, I've been using it a lot more recently and I really have nothing bad to say about it other than maybe it foams a little too much. Like the stuff's actually really not bad. I really recommend it if you guys are looking for a cheap and simple soap to be using in a foam cannon or a hand wash. And that rant isn't to say that all of Chemical Guys products is bad. I mean, there's definitely stuff that's good. I mean, there's just stuff out there that, in my opinion, is better, especially for the price point. And to finish everything off with a topper for a little bit of protection and a lot of gloss, you guys know what it is. It's PNS Bead Maker. I love this stuff so much. I rant about it pretty much every single video. I highly recommend this product as well. But we're going to spray the entire surface down with this, wipe it all down as we go, and make this thing look great.
know we've come to the end of a detail whenever I whip out my brush and some Meguiar's hyper dressing. We're going to go ahead and throw some of the stuff on the tires to be the tire dressing. This bottle of Meguiar's hyper dressing is almost done and that means whenever that is finished we are moving on to some Car Pro Pearl and giving that a good shot because I've gotten a lot of good reviews on it and a buddy of mine gave me some to test out just so I can really get a feel for it. Other than the wheels though we did put the stuff on the exterior trim as well that was all black plastics and made sure that it was protected from the UV rays and gave it a nice black matte finish. Other than that guys we've reached the end of the video pretty much if you like the video go ahead and show me by leaving a like go ahead and subscribe if you like this sort of content i upload weekly here and you can know whenever i upload by ringing that bell and it will alert you every single time i do thank you guys so much for spending time with me and once again this week i will see you guys next week with a hyundai accent that's getting done inside and out and as always i hope you guys have a great rest of the week